it's me Nikki here with my easy crock pot chicken and dumplings recipe this was from our dinner from this last week and I'll put the link to that video below so let's get started so to start you're going to add one cup of white wine to your crock pot and you don't need an expensive white wine I would use a simple Pinot Grigio something that's you know not very expensive along with minced garlic and I like this minced garlic that comes from fresh garlic that's in the jar that you can kind of keep in your refrigerator once you open it up and so you just want to add that to the crock pot you then want to add one 32 ounce box of chicken broth to the crock pot and just add that into your mixture and after that you want to add one stick of butter and I usually chop it up and just put um, little chunks into the crock pot you want to add your salt and your pepper and you're also going to add some Italian seasoning and I'll put the link to this recipe on my blog you will then want to dice up five carrots and five potatoes and then you're going to add those to your crock pot mixture also You're going to add in five chopped up chicken breasts, just chopped into chunks, and you want it to be boneless. You're then going to take two cans of your cream of chicken, and this is a, about a 10 and 3 fourths ounce can, and you're going to add in one cup of water with that mixture, and then you're just simply going to stir it all together before adding it to your crock pot. You're simply then going to cook everything on a low setting on your crock pot for about five hours. For the actual dumplings, you're going to put two thirds cup of milk into two and a fourth cups of biscuit and mix it together and that simply makes your dumplings and it's just really quick and easy recipe for dumplings and it's tasty it tastes good into this um, pot pot meal and so once you mix it up you're going to just take spoonfuls and drop it into your crock pot into the you know mixture and you're going to let it cook for around 30 minutes until the dumplings are finished and then once you do that just put the lid back on also you have some beautiful and tasty dumplings now this recipe is also going to be on my blog so that you can go print it out if you need to. I hope you all have enjoyed this and I hope that you're doing great and I'll see you at the next video. This is Nikki saying goodbye.